am going to be sharing with you the knowledge that I have gained after winning awards in nine art contests and making much monies from them. Also, this is a llama if you are wondering. Don't ask why I'm wearing it. So, I have three big tips for you for how you could potentially win art contests and make money from them. So, let's dive in. All right, now that I've got my handy dandy knowledge sharing desk, let's start. Tip number one, start early. Once you've found the contest that you want to enter and you know what the deadline is, make sure you have at least a few weeks. If you look at a contest and you're like, oh, it's next week, the deadline's next week. I would just not enter it unless you already have a piece ready that you could submit. I will link down below a list of contests that you could enter. All of these are online, which makes it really easy. If you want to enter local ones, then just Google it and Google will let you know if there are any in your area. But all of the ones I'm going to link below will be online. But anyways, the reason why you really, really need to start early is because quality work takes quality time. I would plan at least a few weeks in advance from when the deadline is to work on your project. If you can, I would even plan months ahead. I promise the longer you spend working on your piece, the better it will be. And if you plan more time, the next two steps will be easier. All right, tip number two, paint or draw or make your piece with people in it. Every time that I have gone to a contest or entered a contest, at least one or more of the winners had a human being or parts of a human being in their piece. Now this is a theme that I have observed after many, many years of going to art contests and entering them. The judges, for a reason that I'm about to explain, are more likely to pick pieces that have people in them. Now, I think the reason is that people are hard to draw. They're not like a tree or something where you can just draw it a little bit wrong and no one will be able to tell. Because guess what? We're all humans and we look at faces every day. We analyze them. We know what they look like even if we don't know how to draw them. So when somebody draws a face wrong, everybody can tell. So if you figure out how to draw, faces or people or parts of people, then I believe your chances of winning will increase. All the times that I have done the best in any art contest, my piece has included parts of a person like hands or a face or something like that. So I would highly, highly recommend putting human beings in your art. And if your people drawing skills are not the greatest right now, then I would recommend spending all of your time working on that if you are serious about winning art contests. And now for tip number three, do practices. This is something that I don't think a lot of people think about, but if you're gonna enter an art contest, you need to be prepared, you need to practice. Just like with any other skill, like with piano, for example, if you were going to perform at a piano recital, you wouldn't show up and play your piece for the first time ever during your recital. So with our contests, you need to be prepared. You need to use tip one, start early, and then take that time to practice your idea. You need to take the time to do thumbnails and sketches for your final piece. Now my process, usually I will do thumbnails or little sketches, um, sketch out a bunch of different ideas. I usually work from reference photos, so I have to spend the time collecting reference photos and researching. Then after I've done that, I will do a small practice piece. It doesn't need to be that detailed or complicated, but the more you practice your final piece, the better it will be. I usually only do one practice piece and then I do the final one. But if you've planned months ahead for a contest, go ahead and do as many as you can fit in because it will make your final piece 
that much better. Also, if you're really serious about making money and winning awards in art contests, then you need to be willing to dedicate more than just like two hours to your project. Like with tip one, you gotta plan in advance, you have to plan your subject matter, and then you have to practice. So, be willing to dedicate lots of time and it will pay off. Well, those are all my tips for winning contests and making money from them. Like I said earlier, I will include links below to some art contests that you could enter right now. And if you are serious about this and you actually want to enter your contest and make some money from it, but you are still not sure exactly what you should do, then shoot me an email. I have an email, use it. I'm a small YouTuber. I have time to respond to your emails and I would love to give you more specific advice. If you found this helpful and you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I don't know how much me asking you is going to affect your decision, but I do have lots of great content coming. So if you want to be notified about it, then subscribe and hit the notification bell. Well that, peoples, is all for today. So until next time, 